Welcome learners. This is the third part of the video, which has a coverage of unit one of your sales and retailing management, BBA program fifth semester. It's introduction to sales management that we have been discussing. And this in this uh, third part of video, we shall take up uh, these two learning objectives. Because in part one, we have understood the definition of sales management, types of selling, we have understood the concept of sales management. In the second part, we have understood the roles and functions of sales managers. And here, in this third video, we should be able to understand that what is the relationship between marketing and sales management. And then, we shall take up the other learning objectives, outline the factors affecting sales management. So, what is the relationship between marketing and sales management? Can we consider sales management in isolation? No. Sales management is a part of marketing. We cannot think of marketing minus sales management because ultimately selling will have to take place in order to have meaningful, mutually beneficial sales. We need to apply the concepts, principles of marketing. So there is a very, you know, relationship, integrated relationship between selling and marketing. So we shall explore that relationship. Then we shall try to understand that what are the factors which affect the functioning of sales management. Let us first take this one, relationship between marketing and sales management. Marketing is a broader concept than sales management. You have already discussed in your marketing paper in some other course, right, in your other semesters, prior semesters, that marketing is basically what? It's an integrated function, isn't it? And marketing in, involves mix, product, price, place, promotion. Four P's, isn't it? Although we discuss about some other P's in some other context, but for the purpose of simplicity, let us take this four P's product, price, place, promotion. This is the broader marketing mix. Within this broader marketing mix, there are some other mixes. Suppose in case of promotion, we talk about promotional mix. Promotion covers advertising, personal selling, that is our sales management, publicity, public relations, direct marketing, even direct marketing has also got sales implications. Though for the purpose of discussion, for the purpose of uh, having as a body of knowledge, we try to segregate all this, but basically in practice, in essence, all are interrelated. So marketing is a broader concept than sales management. Sales management contributes to the achievement of the marketing objectives. And mar achievement of the marketing objectives contributes to the achievement of the company objectives. Isn't it? There's the hierarchy, hierarchy of planning, isn't it? From the company level, division level, right? function level, company level, marketing right and after marketing sales it could be advertising also so marketing is a broader concept than sales management sales management contributes towards the accomplishment of the marketing objectives then sales managers right they are is they are not headquarter based within the headquarter also there are some marketing people say the mar the head of marketing research that person may be in the headquarter the general manager sales, he also might be based in headquarter, but occasionally he will have to be, or maybe regularly he will have to visit the various fields, right, in order to establish relationship with the customers. So headquarter marketing team and the sales force. Sales force will be working in the field. So the headquarter need continual information from the field. Say, take the example of a medical representative. The medical representative has visited say five A category doctors on the previous day. Likewise, suppose the company might be having say 300 medical representatives and all the 300 medical representatives have sent their emails, have sent the company's MIS, marketing information system, and the company has come to know that in the previous day, all over the country, say 5,000 A category doctors have been visited. Or say 5,000 doctors have been visited, out of those 5,000 doctors, say 1,500 A category doctors have been visited. 
So if a category doctor prescribes, so there is likely to be some demand. So the company will have an allocation that this is the pattern of our visit on the doctors. So that is that coordination the headquarter only will be able to do. So the Assam based medical representative will not have access to those kind of information. So Assam based medical representative will have to be given by the instructions by the headquarter. So that coordination between headquarter and the field, this is the relationship between sales management and marketing management. Sales management provide the field found inputs to the headquarter so that they can monitor what is happening in the market. Then this is the most important aspect that integration of sales and marketing. Dear learners, if you remember in the first uh, part of this video I stated that nothing can be seen in isolation. We cannot see sales in isolation. We cannot see marketing in isolation as such. Marketing has to be seen in terms of the coordination of the other departments. If the production people do not produce the good quality things, marketing will not be able to will not be able to market those products. Marketing has been able to do get the right product at the right price, but if the sales people do not contribute, the right product, right price, right may not get sold in the market. Everyone's contribution is essential, and those contributions will have to be integrated. So sales and marketing function is essential. Likewise, marketing and other functions is also essential. So integration is the hallmark for the success. Nothing will work in isolation. Isolated manner, no function can give the desired result. It needs to be integrated. Only integrated manner is the solution. Otherwise, right, there will be you know, the larger purpose will get lost. So what are the factors which affect sales management? Say in case of national scenario, the foreign competition, increasing foreign competition, our national brands, sales of our national brands is at stake. If they do not compete with a foreign brands, right, they will be thrown out of, out of the market. Market is ruthless from that perspective. The customers will ex accept those products which give them the maximum value. And there is a hardcore competition. So the, the sales management will have to respond to the competing forces. That is one factor which affects sales management. Consumers, the customers, their expectations are increasing day by day because they are getting new products, new products at a faster rate. Today's first generation product, say think of computer, think of mobile phone, that the, the, many of the products have become obsolete. So rising and with the new and new products, customers' expectations are increasing. At the same time, the buyers are becoming more and more expert because mostly because of the internet, the social media, companies are also having the web presence, the buyers are the Amazon, Flipkart, etc. The buyers can compare the different products and the buyers have become expert. So sales managers will have to respond to this emerging process. And revolution in computer technology and communication, as I have stated, internet has emerged and internet has created a massive sense in the buyer responses to products. Massive sense in terms of the awareness of the buyers. Massive sense in terms of right, the accumulation of information by the customers. So this has penetrated across, right, whether it's rural, urban, semi-urban, right, it has hilly terrain, right, even places like Mizoram, Aijal, lots of internet buying is taking place. The customers are aware about the new and new products. So all these factors affect the performance of the sales management and the sales manager will have to respond to these factors in order to contribute to the company's goal of increasing sales at the least possible cost by managing the cost so that the growth possibilities can be sustained. Thank you learners. Hope you have been able to understand the basic concepts of unit one that is on introduction to sales management. Thank you. I wish you all the best.